Oh mein Gott. Oh mein Gott. Oh mein Gott. Where am I supposed to start? Where am I supposed to start with what I've just seen? How do you not mark Cole Palmer on the corner? How? Where do you start with that game of football? Was it a game of football? Was it a game of basketball? I mean, chaos is what I expected going into that game. My prediction was 3 all. Wrong. How do you not mark Cole Palmer on the corner? Diogo Delo losing his footing and giving away a 97th minute penalty to make it 3-3. I pulled this up because I've forgotten who scored and when they scored in that damn game. Look at that. A 90 plus 10 minute equaliser and a 90 plus 11 minutes winner for Chelsea, who are an absolutely abysmal football team. What the hell does that make us? That was exactly what I expected that game to be. Open-ended. Donut. Nothing in the middle. Eric Ten Hag walking off straight down the tunnel. I, 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 yeah. We came from 2-0 down. A cutback. Oh, surprise, surprise. You know, I could see the cutback. Never fucking saw that coming. Can see the second. But we get back in the game with Garnacho. We get a pretty it's a great goal that we scored with Bruno. I mean, sweet FA now. And that pass from Anthony, and the, it means nothing. Diddly, nada. I'm done. Being a United fan is not good for your health this season. I swear on my life. That's top, that's top four, top five, whatever it is. Champions League, vamos. That's gone next season. And no way that's happening. Liverpool on Sunday. <sighs> Lube up, lads. Bend over. Ay, 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 ay. Seriously. What have I just watched? From a neutral? You must love that. I bit myself in the mouth. <laughs> really sums up what I've just witnessed there from United. Ah, uh, ladies and gents. Ladies and gents. This season has been... Chaotic. We've come from 2-0 down to win against Forest and Villa. And we did the hard work there today. I say we did the hard work. That pass, outrageous. Garnacho himself. Two goals. But it doesn't matter if you go and concede a 97th minute penalty. No, well, you concede in the 100th minute and the 101st minute. It's just unforgivable. Try and tell me that's, that's something to do with tactics that... Oh, wait, is Eric Ten Hag telling nobody to watch Cole Palmer, Cole Palmer on the edge of the box? Talk about just boo, switched off. I mean, the tactical approach was exactly what I thought it was going to be. It's been a problem all season. It will be a continue to be a problem. I don't know until when. But if look, right, Jim Ratcliffe was sat in the crowd. First time he's watched a game since, I can't remember what game it was, Old Trafford, sod knows. The fuck is he going to be thinking coming out of that game? Seeing United come from 2-0 down to go 3-2 up, to have the game, and we look like we're trying a little bit of game management. I, I kind of feel slightly sorry-ish, not really, at all, change of mind, for Delo going into the back of him. You know he's going to go for the penalty there, man. Just don't give him the opportunity. Don't go behind him. He might trip your feet. That's what he did. If Eric Ten Hag's job and but this is the Eric Ten Hag's job this season was not to get inside the top four, but given all the extenuating circumstances of all the injuries and the problems, and in that game for fuck's sake, right? You got Johnny, you got Varane going off with an injury. Johnny Evans coming on for Varane who's injured and going off with an injury after twenty minutes. Brilliant. Cambuela played pretty good though. But Eric Ten Hag's my prediction going into this season was United finishing second. Yeah, well done, Sam. Yeah, you really got that one right. Nailed that. I said Champions League quarterfinals as well. But given all the circumstances around the, the chaos of the club and the takeover and the Sancho situation and the Anthony situation and all the injuries, I think Eric Ten Hag would have been not forgiven, but given some grace by Jim Ratcliffe and Ineos 
if we got into the Champions League next, if we snuck in the back door, which is effectively what we would be doing, right? I wouldn't be coming... If we won, if we won that game there 3-2 tonight because of that wonderful goal for pass, and, and, and there would be positives that I would speak about, but there's absolutely no way that I would come out of that game going, ah, oh, brilliant, you know, at the back, back to the very, very top. It's just, it's... Unsus My hamstrings were hurting watching that game of football. It was full tilt, front to back, 100 miles an hour. Transition versus transition. Honestly, has anybody seen the game? Game, The film, Crank, Jason Statham. Gets injected with poison. Only way he survives is by injecting himself with adrenaline every like 20 minutes. And he's going around doing mad stuff to keep himself... That's what, it, that's what, that's what United play like. And it worked. Nah, it didn't work, but Chelsea just... How? How? Man, I'm, I'm completely and utterly... I'm done. I'll tell you who else is done in this team. My God, man. I've never seen a bigger drop-off from a player who was so good last season when he came through into that team and he established himself to what I'm seeing now in Casemiro. The application from those players in that first half. Oh, the 50-50s. Oh, that jog from Casemiro. I was like, what are you doing? It's like the player's not even there. There was a Chelsea, I can't remember who it was, Chelsea player running in front of you six yards away. Did it, did it, did it, did it. Oh, yeah, no, he's on the edge of our box now. Hmm. Probably my job to do that. What? He's a Casemiro, man. He is done. Everybody's done. I don't know whether that means Eric Ten Hag is done. But Jim Ratcliffe made it abundantly clear that getting into the Champions League was very important for Manchester United. I don't think winning the FA Cup is something that will be considered a marker for success. It will be, uh, I'm not saying the FA Cup is a token gesture, but it will be, uh, well, yeah, good, but that's not what we were aiming for going into the season. I, 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 somehow United surprised me with how chaotic they are and how chaotic they can be. Somehow we managed to turn a game where we were 2-0 down to 3-2 up in the 97th minute to lose it 4-3 to a bang average Chelsea team. It's not looking good, Brev. Hey. It's unsustainable. I really, really want it to work out for Eric Ten Hag, man. But from a tactical perspective, it's just carnage. And when you come out on the right side of carnage, you can celebrate it. When you come out of the wrong side of carnage, you've got two broken legs, a broken nose, hip replacement, and you look down and out. That's Manchester United after that game against Chelsea.